Hi, my name is Phoebe Sturgis. I'm a haematologist specialist by medical scientist working here at South West London Pathology Network based at St George's Hospital in Tooting. Many people don't know what we do here in their labs as it's a hidden profession in the medical world but that doesn't mean what we do isn't just as vitally important as anything else. One of the highlights of the job for me is that you get a really strong sense of accomplishment from working on something so important as the diagnosis and treatment of the patients. It's quite a varied job in that we have many different things that we do in the lab. We obviously do our sample testing, we authorise our results, um, we also um, do a lot of issuing of life-saving products and that's particularly in the blood transfusion section here at Haematology. But we also do things like light microscopy um, which aids in the diagnosis of the patients. Um, there is a lot of career progression as well, um, so you can progress through from band 5 up to band 8. There are different specialties as well that you can work in, so you don't have to work in haematology like I do. There's also immunology, clinical biochemistry, um, we've got histology here, we've got microbiology. So there's lots of different sections that you can work in. So another highlight for me is that we work in a close-knit team um, in the pathology lab. Um, this means that we have a good working uh, relationship with each other but it also means that in times of high stress and workloads that we do sometimes experience, we've got each other's backs. So in terms of training for this job, um, the most important thing is the registration training portfolio which is provided by the Institute of Biomedical Science. You can complete this either as part of an integrated um, degree course for BSc um, which is accredited by the IBMS um, and if you don't do it that way, which is the way that I did it, you would have to work as a medical lab assistant as a band two, I believe, or three, uh, and this would mean that you could then on the side complete your portfolio, which is a year-long endeavour. If you don't do the three or four year um, uh, IBMS accredited course, there is actually top-up modules that you would have to complete in order to become a BMS. The thing I would have liked to have known as a student coming into this uh, profession uh, is that uh, the portfolio is really important and without it you can't be a biomedical scientist. Really enjoyable, really worthwhile and it's an honour to be contributing to our amazing National Health Service honestly um, and I urge you to consider this as a career option.